This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr Tao Dong tells us about her collaborations in China on infections such as HIV, flu and hepatitis B. Hello Tao. Hi. Why do we do research in China? Um, as you know, China is big with a huge population size. Um, so it's a uh, a major contributor for infectious disease burden worldwide. Uh, this including the newly emerged uh, virus such as uh, SARS and avian influenza virus. And uh, this also means uh, China possess a, a large and well-established patients cohort which are important for the scientists to get uh, reliable and high quality data. Another important reason is uh, the Chinese uh, uh, government is putting a lot of effort and funding I to encourage international collaborations, especially um, the top in university and institutes uh, worldwide. And it also has uh, very well established uh, hospital infrastructure and uh, laboratory facilities. So it's really good timing uh, to do the research in China. What is your general field of research? Uh, my research is mainly focused on antigen-specific T cells in human virus infection. Uh, antigen-specific T cells is one of the uh, most important immune cells uh, white blood cells in our body um, responsible, responsible for eliminating the uh, virus infective cells. So the aim of um, my research is really to try to understand immunocorrelates between the virus infection and disease. For example, um, uh, in the uh, cohort patient we studied uh, um, in China, HIV infected patient, and uh, we found the patients uh, who shared a T cell related gene called HLA-B51, they generally do much better than the patient do not have this gene. And we also further uh, worked out the potential reasons for the difference. So as many other researchers uh, in the department, our goal is really to um, uh, work out uh, the uh, immunological mechanisms behind the disease and try to use the information um, in um, improved um, th therapy and the vaccine. Can you tell us about your work on flu infection? My flu uh, research is mainly about to find out what kind of uh, um, T cells, uh, antigen specific T cells are left uh, in our body after um, um, acute influenza virus infection and uh, if those cells, um, recoiled memory T cells, are good enough to protect us from a new infection, especially uh, the virus that are different from uh, previous infections such as pandemic flu. In order to do this, we are collaborating with the colleagues in Vietnam and uh, uh, um, China studying uh, the healthy volunteers as well as the patients who has been infected with the uh, avian influenza virus as well as the pandemic H1N1 uh, virus and uh, we want to work out what's the differences uh, in that uh, T cell responses in those people who are, do not become sick uh, after infection in compare with those ones developed very severe illness. We found actually it's a uh, very interesting group of cells uh, in our body could um, react to a broad range of the virus. Um, this is a uh, really good news because um, those cells are like universal killers. Mm. They can eliminate uh, a different strain of virus, including the pandemic. What will happen now? What are your new projects? I just started recently uh, research on hepatitis B virus infection, in particular in the context of liver cancer development. As you may know, 
and about one third of world hepatitis B infected patients are in China, and uh, this is the uh, main virus that's caused uh, uh, liver cancer, and many people suffered from it. The hospital I've been collaborating with uh, in the past eight years are uh, one of the uh, largest infectious disease hospital in China, and they look after thousands of Hep B infected patients every year. The hospital just started develop an international program uh, um, during the last couple of years, aiming to uh, uh, f identify early diagnostic markers uh, for um, liver cancer development, which is really needed. Um, as one of the uh, uh, major international collaborators, our aim is to really to find out the immunological changes uh, in those patients before the cancer is established and to find out the contribution of those changes to the liver cancer development. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? I'm hoping to uh, uh, have more, uh, in the future, have more um, uh, scientists in the department uh, involved in my collaborative uh, research in China, um, especially those working in the innate and the cancer uh, um, knowledge. And by doing this, we're hoping to get much uh, better comprehensive understanding of the uh, immunological mechanisms behind disease. Um, um, in that way, uh, uh, will give us a better chance uh, uh, to find uh, ways to combat in the um, virus. Um, I think this is also my colleagues want in China.